About two summers ago, I embarked on an adventure to the remote and beautiful Pender Island in the Canadian province of British Columbia. Now, I'm gonna get to the Airstream tour, but first, some background information. Pender Island is one of the many islands in this area surrounded by stunning views of the Pacific Ocean. On this mission, I was joined by my lovely but sometimes rowdy mother, Tina. Put them in for four minutes. I'm though. not. It, that's the time it went on because I don't know how to run a microwave. Don't know okay. how. And my lovely and handsome boyfriend, Alex, who helped me film this. This would be a true bonding adventure. Our destination was a local hideaway called The Woods on Pender. This unique Airbnb is a collection of custom bunkies, retro airstreams, and glamping tents converted into top-notch accommodations, complete with like hot tubs, hammocks, and insane attention to detail. I could go on about this holiday destination, but I'll just say that it's fabulous and an amazing experience if you're ever in BC. Definitely check that out. So the airstreams and cabins are spread out across the property, and lucky for you, I took footage of almost all of them so we can relive this experience together. If you're looking to do an Airstream conversion or even just plan a unique holiday, look no further. Um, I've been sitting on this footage for literally two years and it's t finally time for it to see the light of day. So without further ado, let's begin the cool retro Airstream conversion tour. The first lot that we toured on the property was arguably one of the nicest. This Airstream isn't really a conversion or retro, but rather a brand new fully fitted model with all the bells and whistles because really nothing says fancy camping like a hot tub on your property. I just wanna hang out in here all night, like looking for trees. This one is pretty much like the real deal because you get hammock, full-size barbecue, personal jacuzzi, airstream, and glamping tent. Like you literally get everything. You can probably fit like a, a party of like six to 10 people here, I would imagine. All of these retro airstreams have been fitted with everything to like be the most luxurious, most comfortable getaway that you can imagine. Let's check it out. There's a dog bed dog treats. That's so cute. Yeah, that's so cute. They've thought of everything. Whoa. Look at this. Glasses. That's so handy. <laughs> oh, this really doesn't feel like that small of a space. No, it doesn't. It feels huge. You got entertainment. You got a reading nook. You got dog stuff. That's cute. Okay, dogs are clearly welcome. And look up here, there's even a cute little reading light. Wow, adorable. Mm -hmm. Adorable. And a radio. Hell yeah. And then there's like. And you have full windows throughout, which is truly the best part. A bunch of storage. Mm hmm. Like, in terms of mini house people, like, they need to get on their Airstream game. I know. Cook a full meal in here. There's freaking storage everywhere. Bam. Just like that. After exploring our first Airstream, we quickly decided that it was gorgeous. And out of curiosity, I looked up the rough price of a similar model new. Turns out one of these will run you about 60 to 150 grand. In case you were curious. There's so much space. Like, I'm a tall person. I'm like 5'9", but I can fully extend. I can fully extend myself, which is pretty cool. So the things that really make Airstreams unique is that they do have more windows than your average travel trailer. I should also mention that this Airstream wasn't really a conversion or retro, but rather brand new, fully fitted, and it's a model with all the bells and whistles. Of all the trailers and the Airstreams that we toured on this day, this was definitely the most modern and the most turnkey. Wow, this master bedroom is proper. What I also really like about the woods is that they put a lot of like little details that just make you feel homey. And even though you are camping, you still get a hotel-like feeling that you're on holiday and being taken care of. Kind of like a hotel that's super private, surrounded by trees and in nature. Okay, cute little bathroom, I see you. The shower is right here. This is a good size for a tiny camper. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. Even get a full size fridge, or at least as full size as this is. Full size for a camper. Yes. So yeah, Airstream One was the most modern, but another nice feature that came with it, of course, was the glamping tent. If there's one thing I know about regular tents, it's that they truly suck. 
they're not comfortable. You end up on an air mattress where you like ultimately deflate on the ground. So being inside one of these gives you all of the amenities of an indoor space, but you still get to be outside and feel like you're in nature and hear the trees and you get a little cow mat with heating and electricity. So I mean, it's not your traditional rough and tough camping, but pretty nice. The best thing about all of these units is each tiny property has like its own privacy fence. So your area is completely enclosed and private to you and whoever you're with. The best. Okay, so the second lot was really nice. Let's call this one the old fashioned. So the old fashioned had its own setup complete with barbecue, its own fire pit, as well as a glamping tent, of course. This Airstream was more close to the original than obviously the brand new modern one, but we'll show you what we mean by that. Let's go inside. Okay, this one's gonna be a quick tour, but. Now this Airstream is cool because it's like a long open unit. Of all the Airstreams we've looked at and toured through, this one is probably the one with the most original things uh, that they've just updated. Some of them are brand new, like off the lot, new model Airstreams. But with this one, they've just updated a lot of the original things, which is a far more like cost effective thing to do if you're looking to buy an old one and then just renovate it for your weekend use or whatever. <laughs> Basically they have like authentic wallpaper in here which is super adorable and then um, they updated the countertops and they have it has the yellow color that was super 70s but it looks so sharp and so slick that it looks incredibly modern and I like what they've done with the place. So this tub has all real tile from the honeycomb on the bottom to the custom tile work in this tiny little nook. Yeah, this unit has cork floors, which is also super unique. It doesn't feel like you're walking in a van at all. It's like... No, it doesn't. These Airstreams are awesome. It makes it quiet. It does make it quiet. This one has like a long corridor, but then also you end up with the um, this like little work nook. And then across you have the couch area. You'll notice all along the floor here, all of these little things are storage. So you get that on both sides. So there is no shortage of places to put things. Oh, well, they're very clean on the inside. Also, you can, you can fold the bed away and put up a dining table. They painted the inside black. Yeah, you can fold the bed away, but this one is kind of situated to not... Um, I think it's easier to have a bed that's just kind of there all the time, you know? Yeah, but it's made to fold up. It is made to fold up. But over here you still get a dining area and they have the built-in porch patio and then there's a dining area outside with a hammock of course so you get the best of both worlds again there's a ton of storage space in this one and to update all of the old kind of cabinets they painted the, the interiors just black so it gives it a really modern feel even though a lot of this is original the added built-in speakers which is a nice luxury thing to have there's a brand new little uh, toaster oven here so you can cook things. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. Toaster and a kettle. Oh, I like that everything's hidden away so it's nice and um, keeps the, the small space clean. Yeah, with the fridge and all the cooking appliances, like you could easily just bring groceries here and you, don't, you wouldn't have to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. So true. It's a true getaway. It is. And the fact that they kept the uh, microwave black and all of the yeah. dishware black is really nice. It's a nice touch. Nice touch. So if you're looking for a small, um, effective heater, the one that they have here is called Stiebel Eltron. But it looks super slick and it doesn't take up a lot of space and I would imagine it's pretty effective for a tiny area like this. After admiring the old school charm of the Airstream, it was time to explore the glamping tent. The thing I love about this idea is it's such an inexpensive way to double the amount of guests you can host on a property. Not only that, but it's an outdoor experience that doesn't exclude the comforts of a cottage or a trailer setup. The third campsite we're going to show you isn't actually an Airstream. 
Number three is a retro Shasta trailer that looks straight out of the 60s. Packed with tons of unique and artistic flair, this trailer is super cute inspo for anyone looking to take on a smaller camper project. On this campsite, they've also done a ton with the property. The wraparound deck, barbecue, and hammock all add to the charm of the space. In addition, this campsite is on the top part of the hill, so you could actually see the ocean from the site. So I think we can all agree the outside was really nice, but the inside was just as cute and charming. Look, look at, look at this rug. Home is where you park it. Come on. How freaking cute is that? How cute? Okay, I see this little Shasta mobile. They have beautiful artistic pillows. Mm-hmm. This unit is it's just like one compact little guy. Like if you're traveling, you actually bought one of these to attach to your car. They're small enough that you wouldn't need that large of a vehicle to haul them. And you maximize your space by having a big sleeping area slash lounge, enough cooking space to really get what you need done. And then of course a bathroom and a bench behind. So like really that's, that's what you need when you're on the go. So they have the built-in shower and toilet situation. Cute, okay, look. Wow, look at that little fold-up innovation. Mm -hmm. Fold it back down. Just like that, it was never even there. <laughs> Storage everywhere. Mm -hmm. Storage. Also, you can fold the bed up. And you see the cushions there? Oh yeah. You then... can put them around and it's like a seating area. And in the middle, there's a table under there. Oh, perfect. So you could have a, a day chill spot. So the Shasta Mobile is a cutie. Oh, cutie. Oh. We like the Shasta Mobile. <laughs> to stay warm. Adorable. <laughs> Can't get enough. I left the key in the door. I hope that's okay. That's yeah. fine. The fourth lot we toured, I'm going to nickname the Fortress. This site was an ultra private space fully equipped with the works. Bunkhouse, airstream, hot tub, barbecue, outdoor shower, and fire pit. If you're looking for amenities, this spot has it. As for the airstream, this one was a proper vintage model, fully renovated. This one's an Excello 1000 airstream. Moving on to the indoors, they did a really nice job of reviving this airstream to its original condition while also modernizing the interior. The extra seating, open floor plan, and generous kitchen makes the living area feel super spacious. The sink is massive. Then tucked away you have your little microwave oven over here, spice rack, cabinetry, and is this the fridge? Oh, that's so cute. So the fridge has the same kind of paneling as the rest of the kitchen. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Continuing in the kitchen over here, we have like a stove top. One of these little convection ovens down here, full drawers. And then a ton of open space for tons of people. The contrast between the wood and use of black accents makes the space feel cozy yet current. Also, the retro style speakers are a really nice touch. Sink, bedroom back here, bathroom, master bedroom. This one's not done up yet. And then shower and things like the others. Again, you get the storage here with the closets. This property also had a bunkie and I don't know why I didn't tour it, but that was also really cool. Then of course you have your hot tub and the outdoor shower. Um, because when you come back from the beach, who wants to go and bathe indoors, truly? It's not what camping's about, guys. So that's kind of a nice touch as well that some of the other sites didn't have. Another big part about camping is outdoor dining. So I really like that this site also had the barbecue, the fire pit, and ample room for all of your guests. The entire lot of this one is fenced in. So I can see how like if you had little kids or dogs or something, they could just kind of chill and you wouldn't have to worry about where they're running off to. Pender Island is a really cool place to visit, and the island had a bunch of really unique characteristics that I haven't seen anywhere else. 
Like one of the only ways to get across the island is to actually hitchhike. And because the area is so safe and so small of a community that you can actually do that and it's not harmful. Um, there's also beautiful marinas, landscapes, and I had a ton of fun. The retro airstreams and glamping tents were a really cool way to spend time in this area. And if you're thinking of building your own retro airstream, you might like some of my other content because I make videos about West Coast living and design. Check out my other videos, you might find something you really like. Subscribe and leave your comments below because I reply to every single question. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.